Okay, um, yeah, it's a nice day today. Yeah, nice and sunny, not too cold. I mean, there's ice on the uh, water there, the mud puddles. But uh, it's still back at this 4320. Um, I've got this uh, hydraulic body mounted back on there. And you see just a little bit of a, you know, uh, form a gasket on there. You could peel that right off if you wanted to. If not, it don't matter, it's sealed all the way around. Um, so what I'm doing here is I'm chasing out these holes because there's a little bit of rust in them. So I got my 5 8 inch, uh, yeah, what is that? 5 8 11 thread, coarse thread, uh, tap there. And I'm just chasing out the hole so that when I put the, uh, the, the uh, piston and all back in there, I don't have any binding issues from the rust. So what I've done is I've thrown some liquid wrench in there to help clean it out. You know, that works pretty good. Uh, some some of you guys were talking about PB Blaster. Yeah, I've used it. There's nothing wrong with it. But uh, if I'm trying to loosen up nuts and bolts with uh, with the product, it's usually an oxygen acetylene torch because, well, it just works faster. And for some reason, I just don't have the patience to let something soak up with oil and then come back to it with the hopes that maybe it penetrated. Uh, yeah. So if it's in a, you know, if it's like a cylinder in a engine or something, which I don't even mess with anymore, I leave that up to Timothy, and he'll he'll dump uh, diesel fuel and automatic transmission fluid down in there. That's a trick I taught him. Um, if you want a product for that, you can use Marvel's Mystery Oil. But anyways, back to this project. As you can see, it's pretty simple. Uh, you just run that tap right on in there, and. Uh, it just takes any rust that might be in there and just takes it right out. I've already pre-squirted the holes with the uh, with the uh, uh, penetrating oil. So anyways, I'm just going to do that and then I'll get back to putting that piston in there. Now I'm going to put this thing together without the new packing in because it hasn't gotten here yet. Uh, it's really no big deal to replace it. You just drop the, uh, the uh, lift arms all the way down and that evacuates all the oil out of that cylinder there. And then you just run those four bolts off and uh, the piston pops right out of there, it's no big deal. Uh, pops right out, you put the new packing and the new uh, O-ring on and you slap her back together and you're all good. So I just want to see if it's going to work properly. Uh, that's why I'm going to put it back together not quite right. So, all right. Here we go. I got the selective control valves on. Uh, the speed for these things was not up to par. Uh, this one here is working just fine, but this one here, the little aluminum gizmo was busted off. Okay, the little, yeah, the knob, it was busted off. So, uh, I couldn't even turn it with the, uh, a pair of vice grips on there. So what I did was I uh, threw a vice grips on the back side there, and I tapped it with a hammer. And I worked it back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until it loosened up enough, and now it turns pretty freely. So what I got to do is um, get a new roll pin or spring pin and send it right down through there, and we should be good. So I got a, I got a really nice kit. I'm gonna show you in a second here. I'm sure, you didn't really want to see my nose hairs, but anyway, there. It's got every size imaginable. So, I'm thinking, somebody's calling me. No? No. Anyway, what I'm thinking is I need something super small for that. So, 5 64th by a quarter. Holy samoles. By one and a quarter, I guess. Where's that one and a half? Well, that's too long. I don't need that one. So, we'll just go to the next size. Whatever it is, I'm going to find the right one. And uh, you got the gist. There they are. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can get the right one in there anyway. I know I got the right one. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's that 516. It's only a tiny little guy, like right there, see? So, yeah, tiny. Anyway, I'll get the right one and then, and then I'll drive okay. it in there. It's a moment of truth. I have um, replaced that fitting there off of the old one. I put it on there. Uh, I put that one on. I think I showed you that the last time. I've got the lift arms. They are on. Um, I did not replace the packing in there because I haven't got it yet, but I can always just pull these four bolts off. Now, if you're 
pull arms drop too fast to this three point drops too fast what you do is you loosen up this small nut here and put a screwdriver on that and you turn it inward and that will slow down the drop rate of your lift arms so if you got an implement that just falls like a box of rocks then you got to adjust that so just a friendly tip there that's how you adjust that so anyway um, I got this thing working nice and clean uh, works smoothly this one here also and uh, yeah I just got a lot of grease and dirt there but let's say we uh, turn the key and check for leaks pressure there so my little pump is working oh yeah good pressure there now to get these lift arms to work I have to actually that's what lifts it up and down but it won't work because of the draft control which is here maybe this is the draft control yeah this is draft control this is the actual lifting look here stick that up there this tractor um, what I'm doing now is I'm getting the side console on I just ate my lunch so I'm all fat but uh, yeah and I ran into a little bit of an issue right here as you can see if you can see that shaft is turning just a little bit it has worn the uh, roll pin so badly that it's about to break off so I tried to drive it out I can't get it driven out of there so I'm gonna try and drill it or something I don't even know what the hell I'm gonna do to it but anyway so that's what I'm up to now is working on that thing and uh, should be pretty good I should be able to get it off of there but everything's working pretty good uh, the the uh, yeah the lift arms or they they work perfect I think I showed you that already but uh, yeah, it's coming together. Uh, next thing is going to be to put the seat and everything back on and maybe take her for a quick test drive. Just for the fun of it, you know. Alright, uh, got the side console up on where it belongs. Uh, I got this adjust in the right hole. It's adjusted properly. Had a little trouble here. Uh, that was hogged out. So what I did was I drilled it out to a quarter inch and drove a quarter inch roll or spring pin in there not a roll pin but a spring pin there is a difference uh, new Eclipse here um, new rotor clips here and everything is where it belongs now you can see that that is working I have detent both directions so that's a good thing this one here is working good detent no detent there uh, I'd have to make an adjustment but I don't like detent on both of them just one is fine uh, and of course my lift arms they are working just fine so that's just a matter of putting the cosmetics back on I guess uh, everything else mechanically other than the packing on the cylinder is done uh, new clutch and everything there's no oil leaks back here other than what just ran down my pant leg from the uh, selective control valves but yeah, so that job's pretty well done. All I got to do is put the bolts and everything back on, put the deck on, and actually put the pull arms on. Uh, yeah, everything else is good. We're good to go. It was a successful job. It worked very well. Thanks for watching.